All right, federal. And here one. we go. Here, here's a special guest, Nicholas. Where he's got something to say about you, millennials. This is actually going to be kind of a, edu yeah. a bit of education. From somebody who was born in 71, lived through the 70s as a child and reached maturity in the 80s and had the rude awakening in the 90s and so on and so forth, I'm going to tell you this straight because I was not told this either. You were lied to by your teachers. You have been lied to by the books that you were given to give you self-confidence and inner power, inner strength, and all this other horseshit, but they want you to believe that you can make a difference if you fight, fight, fight. Fight what? That's your question number one. Fight what? And why? Why fight? What do you mean? What's the definition of fighting to you? You were lied to by the people that were entrusted to educate you and prepare you for the rudeness of this world and rule number one on this planet you are one of seven billion no one cares every last one of them has their own problems own dreams and own disappointments and the generations ahead of you who have been on the road a little bit longer than you have had to fight for everything they had to keep and conserve what they had because no one was helping them and the way our economic situation has been keep downgrading because you keep voting for the same fucking mantras instead of asking what are the qualifications of this guy what does he mean by change make a change what what change change in what money how, are, how is making a change going to affect your bottom line? How about if your mom and dad were earning money off of some program that this person voted to cut? Kind of colors it a different way. That requires you to be observant. That requires you to be responsible for your own safety. And that means being suspicious. Suspicious of everything that comes thrown at you from media, social media as it is nowadays, phone calls, advertisements, and especially contracts. Read everything. If it makes you uncomfortable, gives you a kind of trepidation, like it doesn't feel right, dig deeper. There are reasons why these instincts are in us. Survival. And no one else is gonna help you to survive. You can count on no one else to help you to survive. And if you're lucky to find that special someone that you're gonna marry, it's no longer about each of you. It's gonna be about the kids you make for the next 30 fucking years. Because did you move out yet? <laughs> what makes it think that the kids that you bring into the world are gonna be any different? I'm not going to give you the old feel of, oh, grow up already. You're already grown. 30 years old at home. Yeah. You're already grown. You're already being hit with all the responsibilities that the companies, corporate or otherwise, expect you to already know. Especially the insurance agencies. They already expect you to know what the power of the signature means. It means your consent. So be very, very careful as to what you sign your name to. Believe no political party, none. Side with the lesser of two evils every time. And when you get those little proposition pamphlets from, from the state of California saying, this is what we're voting on this cycle, read it. And if anything sounds odd, you vote no. Even if it sounds like a great idea for the majority of it. If it costs you money, you vote no. Does millennials even vote? Oh, well, they're supposed to vote. Hipsters, do they vote? They're supposed to vote. Hmm. Okay, when you and me hit the fucking uh, retirement lines, they're going to be required to vote because you need a certain percentage of people out there to vote. 
you need a certain number of people on the vote voter turnout for it to be valid. Otherwise, it's more of the same. Enjoy what you want to enjoy, people. Like what you're going to like. But don't assume that because you saw a recent TV show candy coating the gloss, saying that the 70s or the 60s or that the 80s were a golden age. I mean, from a survivor of those time periods, him and me, they weren't. We lived in fear. Cold War. Don't forget about the energy crisis. Oh yeah. Run that down your heads. We lived in fear of our lives. We had the fear that we had only in 40 minutes everything could be gone. We had the fear that maybe the next oil crisis or the next international crisis, and there were quite a few might be it. It colored everything we did. We also lived in fear of our own immediate families, our parents, because the ch love childs of the 60s were the worst parents in the world in the 70s. I still have nightmares once in a while of footsteps in the dark, my father's footsteps can't watch certain slasher effects because of that. Knives bother me. Swords don't. Knives do. There are reasons for that. So what is so what is these millennials and hipsters and shit? What's what is their agenda? This They don't even know. That's they're, that's they're the claiming thing. to be socialist, communist. They don't even know what the definitions of all that stuff is. They just think it's cool so they can wear the t-shirt. It's part of fighting the power because corporate America is evil. Well, guess what? Socialist communism is eviler. Lesser of two evils. One, you have a fighting chance if you're knowledgeable, responsible, and you're willing to do what it takes to survive. The other one will load you into catacars and send you to the gulags if you so happen as to say something wrong, look at the wrong person, or even worse, a member of your family, second cousin, whatever, dropped your name. They get their own asses out of a problem. That happened every fucking day in Soviet Russia. It got people killed in Cambodia. It's still getting people killed in Communist China and North Korea. They are living as chickens and pens. If they're lucky, they'll get the special feed. If they're unlucky, they're just grist for the meal. They're just shoved into machinery because there's a billion more of them. Life means nothing to a communist. The people is a euphemism for the state. And the state having power and being the one making the decisions for the state is all happens every time in a totalitarian society. And that's what communism gives every single time. So as bad as democracy is, it's better than the alternative. As bad as a monarchy is, it's better than the socialist agenda. It's better because you're expected. Huh. And there we go. There we go. Right there. Somebody that's self-absorbed. And unfortunately, special snowflake award goes to that individual. Millennials, you've been lied to. You're not special. You're just another band of people grown up in society and thrown to the wolves. Because they wanted you complacent. They wanted to think that everything was safe. Nothing is safe. You can make your life safer by realizing that nothing is safe. Use your eyes, use your ears, and definitely use your brains. What brains? They have them. They just gotta realize they have them. They can't trust government to look after them. Didn't get me anywhere. That's all I gotta say.